Hey guys, welcome back to Align Mental. Rohanna here, coming at you with Home Cooked Glutes Part 2. Those of you that are lucky enough to live in an area where your gyms are open, congratulations, you have access to heavy weights with which to load your glutes. However, if you live in Canada or the UK or anywhere else where you're still in lockdown and gyms are closed, you have to get creative at home because most of us just don't have the weights that the glutes need in order to build. The glutes are the strongest muscle group in our body and they're used to heavy loads. They literally hold up your spine all day. So you have to really load them in order for them to grow. But if you don't have weights at home, what you do have is your body weight and gravity and angles. So some of these moves are gonna look a little bit funky, not gonna lie, but bear with me, listen to my cues, watch my body position and follow along. So today, all you'll need is some wall space, um, a blanket for under your knees, because we're gonna be on our knees for a portion of the class. And it's best to do this class barefoot or with like those bar socks with the grippies on the bottom. Um, and you'll see why, but yeah, barefoot, au naturel. Let's get into it. So first we're starting off with some sumo squats. It's basically a very wide-legged squat, so I take five steps out, and then the toes are also pointed out, so engage your glutes, your adductors, to fan those knees out so that they are over the toes, and then you're squatting low and leaning forward slightly. Even as you come up, you're not stacking the spine. Level one is hands are at the low back, Level two is hands behind the head, and level three is hands overhead. And we're here for 12 reps. So the feet wide will enable you to go lower than you normally would in a traditional squat. Keep that lower back flat, don't arch it. And also the hinge at the hips, so leaning forward slightly the whole way through, is also going to keep those glutes engaged from bottom to top. Keep hugging that belly button to spine and you can level down as you fatigue if you would like. So hands back to head if you get tired with the arms overhead. And last one. And we're gonna keep that same wide stance with the legs, but we're gonna do a good morning now. So hinging at the hips, not the knees, the knees stay slightly bent and we're sending the hips back so that we can bring our torso horizontal to the floor. And again, level one is hands behind the lower back, level two is hands behind the head, and level three is hands overhead. And we're here for 12. So you do not have to bring the spine all the way horizontal, just stop where you feel comfortable, where you feel like the back is starting to round. You stop there and then come back up. You wanna have us flat, long spine here. And squeeze those glutes to come up. And you're still engaging those adductors to keep the knees in line with the toes. And that's 12. Now we're gonna grab our blanket. So we are coming down to the floor on our knees and we're going to do a kneeling squat or actually it's probably more like a kneeling good morning because so this is the kneeling squat where you would push up and your spine is upright. But again, to target the glutes, we're gonna keep that forward lean and then just squeeze the glutes but trying to keep the torso horizontal as we come up. So it's kind of a hip thrust. And again, level one is hands behind the lower back. Level two, hands behind the head. Level three, hands overhead. And we're here for 12 reps. So you can go slower than me, but don't go faster than me. Find the work. I'm even going a little bit fast here, in my opinion. So the more you slow it down, the more you can target those glutes and really squeeze them. 
Again, hugging the navel to the spine here to keep that lower back flat. And that's 12. Now we're gonna come onto our side to work our side glutes a bit. Let me just move my mat like 17 times to make sure I'm not hitting the walls. Come down onto your right elbow, open the right hip, extend the left leg up behind you, but close the left hip. And then bring the left knee to the left elbow and then extend the leg straight behind you. So you sort of have an open hip on the supporting leg, but the hip bone of the left leg tries to point down. And really bring that knee to the upper arm bones, get it as close to the armpit as you can. And I'm just using my hip muscles here. See, my lower back is not bending and flexing. We don't want Linda Lumbar to join the party. She is not invited. Just the glute here. And then come to facing the floor and we're going to do a single leg version of that kneeling squat. So that back knee is hovering, is not touching down, so that glute and hamstring is working. And you're pushing into that right glute to come back to this tabletop position. And we're here for 12. My hands are just slipping all over the place trying to find the right position, but it's the hands aren't really doing much here. They're just to support you so you're not swaying side to side. And that's 12. And switching sides here onto the left elbow. Open at the left hip joint. Extend the right leg up and back. Don't let Linda lumbar. And then right knee to right upper arm bone. And then use that glute to kick it up and back. But you're not stacking the hips here. Squeeze that left glute so you're not leaning out to the left. You can actually move your arms over to the right a bit if you feel like you are falling over to the left, just to have that like so. Just to have that weight shift to the right. And we're here for 12, and then we're transitioned to that single leg kneeling squat variation. And that's 12. Sit back so that back foot is hovering the whole time. The knee is not even touching the floor and keep curling that heel to the bum as much as possible. Use that left glute to push your body forward. The hands are just there to prevent side to side motion, but they're not really pushing or pulling. And that's 12. Next, we're gonna come to lying on our side. So uh, position that your blanket under your right hip, just for some cushioning. And we're gonna come into sort of a right angle clamshell position. So the legs aren't beside you. They're, your knees make a right angle and your hips make a right angle. And find support in that right side waist. And you're doing a clamshell with the whole leg and then extend the leg behind you and reach the arm forward. So open, extend, come back to center, close, open, extend. And we're here for 12. Uh, I like to have the arm mimic the leg just so I don't uh, lose track, but you can do whatever you want with the arm. It's not really doing much, but it kind of counterbalances the leg as the leg reaches back so you can reach it forward. Again here, find integrity in that right side waist. Don't forget about that right side waist and the right shoulder as well. Don't let it creep up to the right ear. And that's 12. And we'll just switch sides. Let me just move my mat like 17 million times so I don't kick the wall. There we go. I have really long limbs in a really small room. 
Nailed it. Yes. So here we go. Clamshell, kick back, reach forward, back. Again, pressing into that left forearm. Make sure you get nice lift there so that the left shoulder doesn't creep up towards the ear. And try and keep both sides of your waist equally long so you're not sinking through that left side waist. And the lower back is flat here too. So hug that belly button to spine so you're not getting crinkling at the lower back, especially as you do the kick out. Forgot to mention, you're more than welcome to wear ankle weights if you have them for this class. But I know most people don't have ankle weights. Yeah, you can tap it out a bit if you get a little cramping. Okay, so we're gonna come up to our feet now and find that wall space. This next exercise is super fun. I call it crisscross applesauce squats. So you cross your legs as if you're gonna sit down crisscross applesauce, but then you're like, no, psych, I just wanted to do a squat. So we're here for 12. You're on the outer blades of each foot and you're really flexing the feet here to protect them. And that's also why the wall is there too. Um, I don't want you guys spraining your ankles trying to do these cutely named squats. So definitely use the wall. Um, this is actually a sliding door. <laughs> that's why I'm holding onto it for dear life so it doesn't slide as I push into it. Um, but yeah, these really should um, activate your adductors here because you really have to press into those blades of your foot and you have to really sit back. That's 12. Let's crisscross the applesauce the other way and do 12 this way. Again, keep that lower back flat so you're not arching the back, you're just hinging at the hips. And you really do have to hinge at the hips here because you're not getting that ankle flexion that you normally would in a, a squat. So you are bringing that chest to meet the thighs and then squeezing, really pressing those outer blades of the foot into the floor in order to come back upright. And we're here for 12. And that's it, that's 12. Dance it out a little bit if you like. Thanks for following along because I'm sure you actually all followed along and weren't just here for the eye candy. As always, feel free to replay the video two or three times and follow along so you get a full workout of, you know, three sets of 12 reps each. Or you can double up this video with another one of my videos. But yeah, keep coming back as well so because there will be more videos that you can hit up back to back and I'm gonna stick with the theme of COVID-19 quarantine because that's my current situation. Uh, when the gym gyms finally do open, I can take you along with me and show you footage of how I got to this and this. Um, but honestly, the gyms have been closed for almost a year and I've managed to maintain this and actually make some gains at home. So I have so many things I want to show you. Yoga, more Pilates, uh, calisthenics, other things. But I will have more videos coming, so stay tuned. Uh, like this video if you like the video. Comment your experience with it or any other suggestions for future videos. And hit the notification bell so when I upload more videos, you'll hear about it. Hear ye, hear ye, Align Mental has posted a new video. Like that. Bye.